Governor Tim Walz rolled out the first phase of his proposed $2 billion spending bill. The governor is asking for a record $276 million for affordable housing. The governor is calling it his local jobs and projects plan. Republicans are calling it expensive. Here's Esme Murphy. With the state of Minnesota sitting on a $1.3 billion surplus, the governor says now is the time to borrow and spend big on projects across the state. We're in the place to do it. The need is there. We have historically low interest rates. To not do this is not only wrong for future investments, it is fiscally irresponsible. The governor is calling for $276 million for new affordable housing. He made the announcement at this newly opened subsidized apartment building in Minneapolis that is now home to 44 formerly homeless people, including Terry, a veteran of the Minnesota National Guard. I love it here. The governor's proposal would create 1,000 to 1,600 affordable units. In addition to bonding, let's actually reduce the cost of what it takes to build a house. Republican House Minority Leader Kurt Dowd says with the state in such good shape, he'd like to see a bigger bonding bill too. But his idea of big is smaller than the governor's. Uh, Two billion is, is pretty extreme. It's, it's, it's twice what we've done in, in the last 10 or 15 years. The argument over how many billions to spend on public works projects across the state will take place against the backdrop of an election year. All 201 members of the Minnesota House and Senate are up for election in November. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Republican Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka says he would prefer a bonding bill closer to $1 billion. The legislative session begins February 11th.